This is everything we, we wanted and more. It's the best football I've ever seen by a country mile. The football has been, it's been like watching the Harlem Globetrotters play football. To be dominating the league with, with playing such good football. Nobody truly expected the level at which they played this season. They've not been like a middle ground, you know what I mean? It's like this season just playing amazing, it's like sort of come out of nowhere. You think from one week to the next it can't get better and then it does. So kind of like where the end point is, I'm not really sure. This season's probably been the most enjoyable season I've ever had as a City fan. But I'm still waiting to wake up, do you know what I mean? It seems like a, like a mint dream. I feel so honoured to watch the team. From the first few games, they were they, they were playing well, but there were there were a few results where it, it, they really had to grind it out. And all of a sudden, they just, they just kind of exploded into this team that were, were playing some of the best football that, I mean, the Premier League's ever seen, possibly even the Football League's ever seen. It's nice to be, like, smashing teams 5-0 week in, week out, not going to lie. The moment when it all seemed to start to click into place was when they beat Stoke at uh, the Etihad, and it was 3-1 at half-time, I think. Uh, they pulled it back to 3-2 and you're thinking, oh, this could be a bit of a bit of a nervy game. And then suddenly they just opened up the floodgates and it, it finished at 7. It's really, there's been so many points in the year where you've come away from the game thinking that's possibly the best performance I've ever seen. One that sticks out to me was probably when De Bruyne was coming into his own and he scored that goal against Chelsea at Stamford Bridge. I'm just so happy that he scored against him, do you know what I mean? And absolutely smashed it. We always needed a player who could do that to just to change the game and just take it by the scuff of his neck. Like Yaya Torre used to do it when he was in his prime. To win the derby away from home, that was one of the moments where I was like, yes, do you know what I mean? Like, and everyone gives everyone a step of confidence and stuff like that, and it always does. You kind of have to rule out the title against United because that that will always take precedent. That was one of the highlights. And the other, I think everyone was... I've never felt as good what I, after watching a game other than, you know, beating United. I think other than that, that Napoli game is, is, is just one of the best. Um, <laughs> Beating United at, at Old Trafford, as it's always great, but the funniest bit about that game was that the last three or four minutes, we had the ball in the corner and we just kept playing it. We just kept smashing it off Ashley Young's shins to the point where he got dead ratty and started kicking people. And then there was one bit which is as good as anything that I've seen. The ball was thrown over to, to Bernardo Silva. It was running towards the goal. He stopped, he was in, he had a chance, he stopped, ran back, ran back to the corner and then smashed it against the shins again and won a, won a corner or a throw in. So uh, yeah, that's my highlight of the season. <laughs> city fans have this phrase, typical City. The club was just run like an absolute, an absolute nightmare. Oh, it was horrible, I can't explain how horrible it is, it makes my heart go fast now. There was an element of gallows humour that, that kind of got the City fans through the dark days. I don't think for one second any of them would swap what's going on now for, for what was back then. Typical City now is not what Typical City was, was years and years ago, where we just clutch defeat from the jaws of victory. There was a sense of, of enjoyment of that self-flagellation of going to Main Road every week, knowing, well, we're probably going to lose this, but you know, we need to make our own fun for a while. People do look back on it with all stinted spec, but it really wasn't as kind of sweetness and light and, and rainbows and unicorns as it, as it was. We knew we were, we obviously we were plummeting the depths, but from 96 to 99, when we got out of the, the third tier, the crowds were amazing and the, the fans were brilliant during that time. But everyone saw City as this sort of average sort of club. There's a lot of non-City fans who think that we yearn for, for kind of the olden days of Main Road and everything like that. I miss Main Road, but like I say, I, I don't miss being, being rubbish. I don't miss being ridiculed by, by everyone. I don't miss being hammered by United all the time. I don't miss being hammered by the fans all the time. Um, so no, I, don't, I, don't, I, I just kind of <laughs> thank the lucky stars really that it's, uh, it's turned out this way. And there was loads to talk about because we were rubbish. Um, that's the one thing I miss. When you're good, there's not much to talk about in the pub other than that was good, wasn't it? Yeah. Whereas when you're crap, there's loads to talk about. But in terms of missing losing football matches, stuff like that, no, no, I don't miss seeing very poor footballers. For next season, Guardiola's got a task on his hands. He doesn't like staying at teams long, does he? Do you know what I mean? He sort of a manager that stays, goes in, sort of stamps his mark, and then just sort of like, let's have him. I do worry kind of what's after. Guardiola because he's been that he's been that good. You'd hope everyone at the club does what they can to keep Pep at, Pep at the club because he's the one who seems to have instilled this spirit and the, this mentality of playing. He himself admits that you know the the, the cycle of, of, of his influence is is a, is a short one. The guy's a genius. It'll be interesting to see if he can get the same out of the players again because 
City have, have, have never defended a title. Nothing lasts forever, does it? it, it it's all cyclical and you just got to enjoy it while it's, while it's happening, really. Let's be honest, it, it will end at some point. There'll be, you know, every club has the moment where they're winning everything, they're top of the league. I don't think this is the finished Manchester City team. I think we'll get better.